If you wanted to run for office in the Missouri August primary, it's closed for most offices now. One of those is for Camden County Sheriff. But after an on your side investigation, it appears half the people running don't meet the requirements. Marina Silva looked into the state laws about filing for sheriff and who is eligible. Marina? Well, Lee, the current Camden County Sheriff, Tony Helms, has decided not to seek re-election, leaving that seat open. Now, eight people have filed for that seat, but our investigation shows that not all of them had a valid license when it came to filing. I have decided that uh, 35 plus years, it's time to retire. The current Camden County Sheriff says it's time for his law enforcement career to end, leaving it up to somebody else to take over. Let somebody else come in and, and fight with all this. It's a uh, it's been a pleasure. Eight people have filed to run, but this Missouri law says you need to have a valid peace officer license at the time of filing. That's what the statute says, you know, it doesn't say later or whatever. Part of that includes mandatory training. That is correct. The training would have to be up to date uh, and the post license would show that. So we decided to check on the status for these eight candidates today. Now these candidates have a valid license. Christopher Edgar, Phil Cannon, Jimmy Brashear, and Jeffrey Beecham. These candidates have an inactive license. Greg Sellers and Patrick Cochran. Josh Butterfield had no record found, and Brian Butts has an expired license. Sheriff Helms says the rules are rules, but it should be checked. Which I understand in Camden County, there's like three or four people that's in question. I think when they're either vetted or when they file, they should have a qualification that they have to prove whenever they sign up. I just, I don't understand that. Sheriff Helms says this is up to each law enforcement officer to make sure their license is up to date when they want to run for office. It's not anybody's obligation but their own to keep their license up. Now, I just spoke with the Camden County clerk. He says he's not allowed to kick people off the ballot if they don't qualify. Now, a judge would have to make that decision, but the ballot won't be finalized for a few months. Reporting live in Camden County, I'm Marina Silva, KY3 News.